Well, we have some details that have just been released here in regards to a British warship having a showdown with the Chinese military in the South China Sea. This is very interesting and something to keep an eye on because the U.S. military went through here first. Then it looks like the British, they sent a warship with some other vessels through here just a few weeks ago. And they never said anything about this when it happened. But they're just now putting out the details saying they're not going to tolerate this no more. China is trying to muscle all of the South China Sea simply because it has the name China in the name. And they think that they have a right to this territory all the way up to the borders of the Philippines, Malaysia, Vietnam. They're claiming the Spratly Islands, the Parcel Islands, all these regions, all the resources within it in this area has one-third of the world's shipping traffic going through it, through the shipping lanes. Now, could you imagine the fit that they would pitch if the United States went out and occupied all the Atlantic, all the way over to, to Africa, or over to, to Europe, up to Iceland, right off the coastline? You know how big of a fit that they would have? saying, no, that's international water. Well, that's the exact same thing that everyone else is trying to say to China, and China's not wanting to hear it. Matter of fact, China's not wanting to hear anything anyone has to say, except for if it's in their interest. And I'm warning you now, China is the biggest threat on this planet when it comes to any other country, when it comes to any other ideology, and any other country that could send troops in a military to face off with any country at any time and have an advantage in terms of troop numbers and superiority in terms of their positioning when it comes to the home front. And I'm talking in terms of the Philippines and all the, the countries right around them. They don't have to go too far. The biggest problem China has is trying to wage a war in a distant location. When Flight 370 went missing, there was a very interesting set of circumstances that went down. There was a bunch of Chinese on board. So the Chinese had to get involved. What they had to do is send a search team out in the middle of the ocean. And when they did this, they were being observed. They wanted to dock in Australia, which I think they were able to eventually do. But in a wartime situation, that would not be the case. They would not be able to dock there. And what they were having to do is pull off refueling constantly while they were out there and it seemed to me that the whole ruse with this whole that whole thing was to watch them and they did they watched china's every move they watched how they operate out in the ocean how they refuel how the, the routes they take the whole nine china's trying to boss hog everything at this point let's not forget they have stolen intellectual property rights from the whole world and have gotten away with it up to this point. This is one of the main reasons tariffs have been put on them. And it's a valid reason for people not tuned into what's happening here. They have been robbing the whole world of all their ideas and taking any idea, making it their own, and selling it to their own people behind closed doors, behind their Chinese firewall, where they control everything. Now, it's this type of mentality that I'm warning about. Because the globalist leaders like this mentality. They like the Chinese mentality. Oh, we're going to take your guns. Over 20 million people stepped up under Mao and said, no, you're not. He killed all 20 million. More than that. They love that mentality. Of course they do. They want that type of mentality. Full court press across the globe. This is why power, when the United States does fall, when the day comes, is going to shift to the east by design. By then, people, it's going to be too late. I've been telling you this whole time they've sold you out. I've been trying to tell you all, all this time they're puppets here on this world stage. It's not going to be until it's too late that a bunch of people get it. And it's just going to be too late. And then you're going to be saying, what do we do? Where do we go? How do we fix this? It's going to be too late. Because you let these world powers sell us out. There could never be a Chinese red dawn here in this country. There could never be none of that. Unless someone let it happen. No way they get all the way across that ocean or anywhere without someone seeing them coming. Right, just like they didn't see them coming across the ocean. Pearl Harbor, right? <laughs> the Lusitania. I don't forget 9-11. And it's the same hands. They got the next one coming. You better wake up quick. It's been Dabu 7.